nearly an unhappy Christmas. Alicia was very proud of her pretty new hat. Her mother had made it for her as a Christmas present. It was pink and had yellow flowers sewn on it. Alicia thought it was the best Christmas present she ever had. On Boxing Day, Alicia's father was unwell and her mother was busy. So, Alicia was allowed to take the dog for a walk. Proudly, she put on her new hat. Watch where you walk, warned her mother, and don't be out too long. Alicia decided to go towards the railway that runs into the hills and works by electricity. The trains collect the electricity from overhead lines, and sometimes from a special rail on the side of the track. There were warning signs along the railway because electricity can be very dangerous. Alicia had often seen the overhead lines, but she didn't really understand how they made the trains work. But she knew she must always take care near the railway. To get home, she had to cross a bridge, where of course the electric wires were below her. She peered over the bridge, looking along the line. Suddenly, the wind tugged at her new hat. Alicia grabbed it in. Too late. Her beautiful new hat flipped off her head, sailed over the bridge wall, and caught on the electric wires. Alicia was thunderstruck. My new hat! she wailed. I must get it back! A thin tree branch was Forgetting about the electricity warning signs, Alicia leaned as far over the bridge as she dared, carefully lowering the branch towards her hat. An electric train, who was so new, he did not have a name yet, was coming along the track of his driver. They saw what was happening and stopped as quickly as possible so they could warn Alicia. STOP! The voice was so loud, Alicia dropped the branch. As she did, she heard a loud BANG! And there was a brilliant, bright, blue flash like light. The driver said, If you had touched the electric wire of your branch, you could have been killed. You don't even have to touch the wires to be hurt, because electricity can jump a long way. My... my hat! Alicia said weakly. I'm sure we can do something about that, said the driver. I wouldn't have expected your hat to stay there very long in this wind. It's blown to the side of the line already. I'll see you get it back. It's that day. The driver was as good as his word. Alicia got her beloved hat back, but her narrow escape had also taught her a lesson. The burn mark on the hat always reminds her never to take chances with electricity on the railway ever again.